Mr. De Santa! Mr. De Santa! belong here. <laughs> Mr. De Santa, there is someone here. Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. We just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. Smooth. It was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. <laughs> Me and Mr. Yateri, who worked this out? Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Oh, drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Let's go! Man, shit! No! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Simeon, it's not exactly how it looks. 
I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! See now? Hey, you recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Uh, <laughs> he agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh, that kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Uh, don't make me have to come back here. Lucky, buddy. You are a lucky freak. Well, you don't see any driving? I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe? Slippers and staring at a fucking sunset. You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. 
It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. <laughs> 